Lung, and I'm here today to talk to you about something that I've been personally working on that I think I might be able to help you out with. Um, today, my project development has led me back once again to the place where I believe I should have begun to begin with. Here, hold on one second. There's a the bone. Okay. Um, see, I've been coming up with a name for my startup, and I keep stumbling over roadblocks and preventing me to stick to a name. And although some of those obstacles could be due to indecision, I also know that there's some things out of my control that um, I have to get through, such as people already owning the domain or already having a company called that or um, or whatever. It could be many things. Um, surely other people can relate, and I hope that this video can help you. Um, sometimes it seems like I'm traveling in circles to get information. I guess that's part of the learning process. Um, and... Basically, the information all of a sudden just hits me, and that's kind of what's happening now um, with the branding. So, I just figured, um, in order to come up with a catchy, easy to remember, and relevant name for my service, I would have to do a lot of research, and, and that it's going to take a little while. It's not going to happen overnight. When I first started um, developing a business, uh, I thought it was going to be a lot easier than it is. And it's definitely not an easy process. It takes a lot of time and eventually you end up back in the same spot, but you do it a lot better the next time, which is half of the fun. It's learning all these new things. Um, so let's see. Sometimes there's so many other things going on in my head that I just get distracted, to be honest with you, before I end up getting back to a certain thing. Then all of a sudden with the branding situation, it just hit me, huh? This really is important because I need to develop a brand for myself or else I'm not going to be able to have anything that anybody will remember. So it's super important to get that. I still haven't, but I'm working on it. <laughs> um, what I started doing was referencing a thesaurus and a dictionary. So basically for a word like brand, for instance, um, it's quite popular and there's so there's lots of other words that mean brand. So if you look up the word brand, then you will find a whole bunch of other things that mean it. Um, in the source, that is. Um, so that also, brand would also mean footprint, product, and impression. And basically brand, I believe, is the most important one. I mean, the most uh, used one right now because it's the shortest and everybody's like, like short names because they're easier to remember and it's just good to have a short name. So, if you can't find anything that really hits you with the word brand, you can go deeper and go into the word impression, for instance. Um, so, uh, there are several words that are short for impression, such as the word air, A-I-R. That one's really short. Now, you have to use your creative energy there and figure out what would be a cool name for a company with the word air in it. Um, of course, not... H, not um, oxygen air, but the air, like the impression, if you will. Um, so, I actually have a lot of fun doing this because I'm actually expanding my vocabulary while I'm making a brand, and it's going to make me a better writer and a better speaker, which hopefully that'll happen, all of y'all can tell. I'm a little rusty. Um, so I have to say I've not found the brand name for my company as of yet, but I know it'll come to me soon. In the meantime, I'm discovering the tools necessary to develop and maintain a successful business. So if you're, if you're getting discouraged about your brand name, if it doesn't come to you right away, um, don't get discouraged. I have bought like seven domains and I don't even know how to build a web page totally yet, but um, I'm learning. And basically I have all these undeveloped domain names because I got impulsive and I decided to uh, buy a domain, I got all excited thinking, oh, this is the one, and then I had a whole different brainstorm next week. So, basically, I recommend writing down everything that you're thinking, writing down the words, the synonyms, and all that good stuff, and then coming up with a cool little creative way to put them together, and then I think you can't lose that way. There's plenty of combinations out there. I've been I've been working a little bit on that today. So, um, because of the way I'm learning, um, information doesn't always come in a sequence manner. But I have to say one thing. I'm I'm just going to have to keep working at it, basically. Um, I want to get people in the door. I want people to be intrigued, and I want the information behind the door to match up to what I'm portraying in order to 
develop a client base and have them really be um, impressed with my services once I get my company up and running. So thank you for being here today, and um, I hope this has been some help to you. Um, I'm learning how to run a business, so don't take everything I say to heart. Um, I'm basically just giving out the information that I'm learning from my perspective. So maybe you can get the idea in your head and do a little further research on the topic. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.